Always strange noises in the city. What's going on now? If you're a current Tesla owner who paid for FSD, but now it's time for you to upgrade to a new car, Tesla made an announcement earlier this week that will allow you to transfer your FSD from an old Tesla to a new Tesla, but there is a catch. When FSD was first launched, it only cost about $5,000, which is still really expensive, but now if you wanted it today, it will cost you either $15,000 to have it up front or a monthly subscription of $200. That FSD package has never been transferable to a new car, and that has frustrated a lot of Tesla owners. Imagine spending all that money on the car. The first three years of ownership of me owning my Model 3 with FSD, I did not have FSD. It wasn't released yet. So I've only had it for about a year now. So you can imagine the people that are frustrated that only own their cars for two or three years, traded in for a new car, and they spent all that money on FSD and they never got to use the FSD package. Even worse, imagine getting a brand new Tesla, owning it for maybe a month or two, and then getting into a car accident where the car is totaled. Well, currently as it is, because that FSD package is tied to that specific car, it doesn't transfer to the new car. So if your car gets totaled, you also lose FSD. So if you have FSD and you use it all the time, maybe you're a power user and you're always using it every time you're in the car, the car is driving itself, then maybe it would be worth it in your instance. But for the average user that just kind of dabbles with it, that wants to show it off as a party trick or use it every once in a while for long trips, then you know buying it fully outright may not be the best option for you. Maybe you should go on the subscription and pay $200 a month. So remember earlier when I said that there is a catch? There is a catch to this. This is only going to apply for those who are buying a new car in the third quarter. So it has to actually be delivered in that third quarter, which ends September 30th of this year. So for you to qualify for this, you have to be a current Tesla owner with FSD, and you have to buy a new Tesla and have it delivered before September 30th and they'll allow that one-time transfer. It's only a one-time deal. Once you transfer it, that's it. You can't buy the car used and then have someone else's FSD that originally paid for it to transfer to yours. It doesn't work that way. So you have to be a current owner that you paid for FSD on your car for it to transfer to a new car. I was hopeful that Cybertruck would be out, but I know that's just wishful thinking. I would love to be able to transfer FSD that I have on my Model 3 to a new vehicle. Unfortunately, the new vehicle I have on order is a Cybertruck, and that's probably not going to arrive before September 30th. Even if Cybertruck did come out before September 30th, there's no way it would be delivered to me by September 30th. So what do you guys think about this? Are you happy that they're allowing this? Or are you pretty salty that uh, you just bought a new car and you could have taken advantage of this, but you weren't within the window of opportunity, so you're out of luck? I definitely have a lot of thoughts about this. I've always said that if you buy the FSD package and you pay for it outright, you own that package for your vehicle and it should be able to transfer to whichever new car that you have. That will keep you in the Tesla family. That'll keep you from going away from Tesla to buy an Audi or BMW or some other car that comes out that you like their features. This might keep you around. I think it would be a good incentive for Tesla to allow you to transfer it. But I also know what Tesla's doing. They don't want you to buy Tesla's FSD package outright. They want you to go to that monthly subscription because they know that they'll make more money off of you in the long run you'll always be paying. It's like paying rent on an apartment. You'll always be a renter, right? They make more money off of you. Even if you stay in the Tesla family and you upgrade to a new Tesla, you just cancel that subscription and restart it on the new car and you don't lose any money on that. That's the advantage of it. And that's why they're trying to push it and not really 
allow you to transfer it because they're thinking if you're likely to transfer FSD, just go to the monthly subscription and you'll be able to transfer it easily. But then they've got you because you're always going to be paying them a monthly subscription fee for that. So yes, you can cancel your monthly subscription and just sign up every month or every other month or how often you want to use it. If you know you're going to use FSD all through the summer, just sign up for the summer and then cancel it for the fall. They will allow that. So that is the good thing. But for those power users that use it every time they're in the car, you're going to be locked into that $200 every month because you don't want to give it up. It would be better if you could buy the package outright, you own it, and Tesla allows you to transfer it to a new car down the road whenever you're ready to upgrade. In other FSD news, Elon also mentioned that they are in talks with another major auto manufacturer to license the FSD package to third-party vehicles. So who do you think that could be? Someone like Ford or Mercedes, Volkswagen, Audi, could be anyone. But that would be an awesome thing to have Tesla software running on another vehicle. That's a great stream of revenue for Tesla. Uh, it's a great package to start with. I think it's superior than some of the others that are out there. So I think that would be a great thing for everyone. So that's the latest in FSD news for this week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I've got a lot more content coming and I'll see you guys in the near future. Take care. Bye-bye.